Hello and welcome to the May update from the Tao team. And you're here with me, Fola. So let's get into the development team. All right, over to you, Karim. Let's give us your overview. Thank you, Fola, and welcome everyone to the May update for the Tao development team. Uh, the great news uh, this month, if you haven't heard already, uh, Luca Timmons has uh, rejoined our team after taking a break to finish his master's degree. Congratulations, Luca, and welcome back uh, to the team. Uh, naturally, Luca has uh, hit the ground uh, running since he, he was already familiar with Tao. Uh, nonetheless, he did have to come up to speed with the latest development over the past year, uh, both on a theoretical and on the coding front. Uh, on a theoretical front, uh, professors uh, Pavel and Ohad showed him uh, the, the new procedure for solving the satisfiability problem for the two variable uh, fragment with counting. On the development side, um, he actually managed to complete uh, several coding tasks um, thanks to uh, cooperation with David, who took him under his wing and, like I said, brought him up to speed to the latest uh, developments in Tao. So he actually managed to finish a few coding tasks in May, where, for example, he implemented a canonical normalizer for Boolean functions using uh, the Boolean normal form. He also uh, made several fixes uh, to the REPL um, substitution command, and he added the new command for uh, normalizing uh, Boolean function. Uh, thank you, Luca, and uh, welcome back to the team. Um, David, um, in, in addition to uh, bringing uh, Luca up to speed, he has been uh, busy on uh, all of his regular tasks in the REPL and the quantifier elimination and normalizer and parser. On the REPL side, he refactored and improved all normal forms of uh, Boolean, uh, Boolean formulas and well form formulas. He added some tile rules uh, in conjunction with those normal forms. He uh, reviewed the memory command, uh, previously called output, and he clarified user intentions, refactored all the subcommands, uh, added uh, some basic uh, REPL tests to all of those uh, commands. He also made some improvements to the def command and fixed an issue with an extra uh, period uh, needed when multiple uh, def commands were passed. Um, he uh, refactored uh, the print command, added the relative and absolute way of referencing uh, definitions in memory um, by request of Ahad, and he updated the help command to reflect uh, all the new commands. On the quantifier elimination uh, side, uh, he added the, the new quantifier elimination uh, method and a corresponding uh, REPL command and several ta tests to go along with that. And he removed some functional quantifiers and some new quantifier elimination procedures. On the normalizer front, he's uh, very close to wrapping up uh, all of the strong normalization functions uh, that uh, Ohad has um, developed. Uh, so that's really close. So between those two, the quantifier elimination and the normalization puts us really close to the next and final step, which is uh, execution of uh, Tau programs. We're all looking forward uh, to that. Um, but he also made some contributions on the parser side where he added some boost logs to be able to debug everything, and he made a few changes uh, related mostly to quantifier eliminations. Um, and continued to fix some bugs. Generally, he fixed some issue regarding to the removals of conjunctions and formulas. He fixed an issue related to uh, preferences between exclusive or and end, and fixed several regression, regressions and normalizations, uh, mostly due to quantifier elimination. Uh, thank you, David, for uh, all of those contributions in May. Um, Umar, uh, he uh, had uh, finished um, some um, uh, memory optimizations in the parser uh, last month, but um, Ohad wanted him to push the uh, memory optimizations even further because they're going to be critical uh, in the future as we start uh, running uh, more and more complex programs. Uh, so he recommended, Ohad recommended that uh, he looks on how the BDD library that Ohad had written uh, several years ago and uh, get inspired, uh, use the examples of, of the memory management that the BDD library does that is very efficient and port that over uh, to the current uh, early parser implementation. So he's been uh, uh, working on uh, that mostly. 
Um, Tomas uh, has continued his work both on the parser and the Tau. Um, he um, was um, actually struggling with one issue with static member initialization that was causing some seg faults, but he managed to debug it and, and fix it with the help of Umar. Uh, he started work on adding precedence and associativity rules and continued working on uh, moving the rewriting system from within the Tau language to uh, within the uh, parser. Um, on the Tau side, um, he updated the GitHub workflows uh, so we can build both debug and release build in the cloud. And he uh, fixed an issue with the GCC compiler version. He worked on testing changes for merging uh, feature branches. He also finished uh, BD binding grammars. He removed all unnecessary terminals from the Tau parse tree and uh, rewrote the parse tree uh, pretty printer. He also updated the syntax for referencing output memory in REPL, fixed REPL, um, without uh, uh, allowing the REPL to work uh, without a terminal. So for example, within a pipe command, and he refactored all the REPL tests. And uh, finally, um, on request from some of our uh, community members, he started working on a Windows build uh, for the Tau program so that uh, you could run Tau on Windows, hopefully soon. And uh, last but not least, uh, Andre has been actively working with uh, myself, Ohad, Fola, and David on the core implementation of uh, the test net that leverages all the latest features in Tau. Uh, he's also been writing numerous tests for our internal services to make sure that reliability and efficiency is guaranteed. In addition, he uh, continues working on maintaining the security of our resources, such as our main page and our uh, various uh, social media pages. He also continued working on a Twitter bot uh, or a Twitter to Telegram bot that automatically shares updates from uh, selected users directly into our uh, community channels. And uh, in doing so, he uh, strengthened our spam protection programs and uh, by adding some filters to safeguard the community from unwanted uh, traffic. Uh, that's all for the May update. Uh, back to you, Fola. All right, fantastic. Thanks so much, Karim. Tomash, over to you. Thank you, Fola. And uh, hello, everyone. So uh, here's my update for the latest month. Uh, I successfully tested uh, MinGW toolchain for building uh, Windows executables. Uh, I worked on uh, merging and resolving changes. Uh, it was mostly separating parsing functionality from a forest container, simpler generated C++ parsers, uh, a new shaping option to trim children terminals, and uh, parse node changes from uh, from Umar. Uh, I did some improvements to building and uh, also to testing uh, with GitHub workflow. Uh, then I did uh, two fixes in parser. I fixed an issue by ensuring static member initialization and uh, I fixed an issue with uh, backtracking of parse errors uh, on completed parser items. Uh, I started to work on uh, adding API on uh, grammar structure, which uh, would provide uh, information about precedence and uh, associativity of uh, non-terminals and rules. Uh, I also continued on moving another part of Rewriter system from Tau into the parser and uh, TGF. Uh, I started to work on adding uh, rewriting rules and uh, libraries. Uh, regarding Tau, uh, I finished revision and simplification of uh, Tau grammar by using shorthand production rules. These uh, short form of rules uh, they, uh, allow, allow to write rules in a more compact way while uh, increasing uh, readability of, of a grammar. Adding a shaping option to, to, to trim children terminals of nodes uh, enabled uh, to simply remove all unnecessary terminals from the Tau parse tree. And uh, because of that, uh, I had to also revise printing of uh, parse tree back to string by uh, making a new pretty printer, which prints trees and uh, it adds terminals. So the printed text is then parsable back to the equivalent tree. 
Um, I also refactored uh, REPL tests with a testing function, so uh, tests are now more, more main maintainable. Um, I enabled running REPL without terminal, uh, for example, when used with pipe, and uh, I updated syntax for uh, referencing uh, outputs or output memories. That's all from me. Thank you. Thanks so much, Tomash. All right, and Luca, over to you. Tell us about your month. Thank you, Paula. Yes, as Karim uh, has said already, uh, I have been gone for some time in order to finish my master's degree. It's uh, successfully finished now, um, and I'm excited to be working uh, on the Tar language again. Uh, in this regard, um, uh, this month, uh, I was taught by Ohad and Professor Pavel Paris uh, the procedure uh, they develop based on the theoretical result of a paper for a decision uh, procedure for the satisfiability uh, problem for the two variable fragment with counting. Um, and um, this uh, uh, procedure, uh, the implementation of this procedure will be one of my uh, challenges for the coming month. Um, then on the development side, I dove into the code base that David has written um, on the, uh, for the Tao language um, and spent quite some time familiarizing myself with it and catching up uh, on the theory that has been uh, developed uh, throughout the last year um, in order to uh, meaningfully contribute uh, to the to the Tao language. Um, and as a first step towards those efforts, um, I uh, have implemented the substitution command um, in the um, a power language uh, CLI, or command line application, um, and uh, maybe the highlight of this month is an implementation of the canonical normalizer, uh, as Karim said, uh, for Boolean functions. Um, and the normal form for the Boolean functions um, we are using is the Boolean normal form. Um, and yes, this is, this is my highlight for the month. Uh, thank you, and I'll give it back to Fola. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much, Luca. And over to Umar for his update this month. Hi, team. Glad to share the progress of this month. Uh, basically, this month we have been improving on the uh, storage of the P node within the forest. Uh, especially, we looked at how to garbage collect uh, the data structure when it's no more referenced that will save on the memory. Mm. Also, we've fixed uh, and debugged a few issues. Um, and um, we also converted the ordered map to unordered map uh, uh, design uh, to um, to make it more faster in terms of accessing the data structure nodes. Uh, lastly, we fixed the static variable um, um, initialization order issue, um, and that was uh, fixed and. Uh, uh, so these, most of these changes are already in the master branch and some are still in the refactor branch. Yeah, thank you. All right, fantastic, Umar. And last but not least, over to Ahad. Yeah, so uh, this month was uh, um, extremely productive uh, in the uh, research, research front. Um, several uh, things were discovered. One of them is uh, what we call point-wise revision, which um, um, allows um, a software update in a very interesting way and uh, of course ultimately be used uh, in the way that the blockchain update itself in the, in the testnet. Uh, there is a general field called uh, belief revision and uh, in this field it is shown uh, quite easily that um, a general uh, form of changing um, is not really well defined. Uh, there is no one way to do so but it so happens that um, if uh, looking only at software specification in the form of the Tao language, then we can achieve this uh, in the best way that one could hope, and that's what the uh, point was revision idea is actually doing. Um, also, I found some results re regarding what is called uninterpreted constants, and this will help users uh, agree and share vocabulary, and by that um, software specification will be able to broken down to something that is a little bit more human readable. 
I also had a new strong, strong normalization algorithm for uh, the, the theory of Boolean algebra. Um, and also a different kind of normalization for tau formulas, um, which opens up um, many more possibilities. So um, it is going to um, make a checking satisfiability of tau formulas as well as execution of tau programs um, much easier in two forms. It will be much easier to implement, and by that, um, I expect that the work on the tau language uh, uh, will be less because we have this algorithm that makes it easier uh, to implement. And in another sense, it is um, easier uh, for the computer, so it will also run faster. Um, so I said it's uh, um, it allows uh, execution, better execution and satisfiability, and it also um, um, solves the problem of uh, finding a splitter for tau formulas by relying on finding splitters to formulas in the language of uh, Boolean algebra. Um, yeah, and that's basically all. <laughs> <laughs> truly amazing, truly amazing. And thanks so much, Ahad, for your update there. And um, yeah, I'm sure the community members have a lot of questions for you when they see this. Um, what a great what a great month. Um, I know we've had some delays on the Tau language. Well, delays, but um, it's not here yet, but it is coming. Um, we've done some amazing work this month. Um, we'll see you guys on the socials and uh, looking forward to further updates. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>